Now, I'm curious to know uh, what qualities of the exercises are particularly appealing to college students? To college students, I think um, for St. Ignatius, uh, getting in touch with one's, uh, his own deep passions and desires was transformative in his own life. As Ignatius mm -hmm. went through this conversion from being a knight in, in enamored with service to the courts of Spain and, and, uh, and, and, and power and prestige, and, and the Lord you know, converted his desires to serving the church and the most needy of the world. And the, the key to that transformation was getting in touch with his deep, deep desires. Mm -hmm. So that speaks to young people who are passionate, who are zealous, who care very deeply about making the world a much more gentle, a much more, ju a much more just place. And, uh, and our young people are passionate. And like Ignatius, in his own experience, you know, God needs to hone and refine those desires. Mm -hmm. And the, exercise, the exercises give us a tool to do that, to tap into deep desires and then to, uh, to hone them and refine them so that God can make use of them effectively. Uh, yeah, I suppose it's really kind of a relief to a lot of people to understand that, you know, I can trust my desires right. it, rather than, uh, no, this is just a luxury that I like to do this thing. Right. Or, uh, and even some of us have come from uh, religious backgrounds where we're, tr we're taught to kind of distrust right. the things we really enjoy. Right. And yet you're giving these students, well, really anyone doing the exercises, they're given the freedom to explore this is what gives me joy. Right, and so that our, I mean, the great Ignatian insight, uh, what, what he contributed to the spiritual tradition most profoundly was that our deepest desires are God's desires. Mm -hmm. Now the challenge is to go to our, our real desires, yeah. as you said, or our, cheap de or, or our deep desires, and not the cheap desires, not yeah. the superficial <laughs> desires. I mean, and, and so the exercises, and that's why, that's why the, the exercises are an adventure. Mm -hmm. um, because there, it requires, uh, you know, navigating a lot of our more superficial desires, our more fleeting desires, to tap into our deepest ones. Mm -hmm. And so the, the adventure is both joyous and, and uh, challenging at times. Because we confront those, those um, desires we have in life which really are dead ends or, or, yeah. or will not sustain us over a lifetime. And that requires um, some letting go of yeah. stuff we're used to having around in our life. It requires delving through the clutter of our heart mm -hmm. to find out what are those truest and holiest and boldest desires. But man, when, we, when you tap into those, it is, it is truly the, uh, uh, it, it's truly godly in what God makes, what God can do with those passions. And certainly in my life, that's been the case.